You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 15, verses 21 to 28. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. The disciples of Jesus came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. Today is a gift. Let us make the most of it. Happy Sunday. In today's gospel episode, we encounter a different Jesus than we least expected. From a gentle, compassionate, and ever-loving Lord and teacher, here he is seemingly rude. When the Canaanite woman approached Jesus, pleading and begging him to heal her daughter, whom the demon tormented, Jesus did not answer her. He ignored her. He did not even bother to criticize his disciples when they urged him to send the woman away. For she kept shouting after them. He said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman knelt before Jesus saying, Lord, help me. And what was the answer of Jesus? It is unfair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. That wasn't very kind, but listen to what the Canaanite woman said in all humility. Yes, Lord, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. One biblical writer says, It is important to understand that when Jesus came to be part of earthly reality, he entered a mess. He grew up a Jewish boy with Jewish culture and customs and a Jewish understanding of the world. Jesus likely grew up hearing stories of the dangers of Canaanites and how they would steer him away from God. He grew up witnessing how the Gentile dogs were murdering his people stealing their money and food, and oppressing the Jewish nation. His coming then was a rescue mission to get Israel back and save all the nations. He was only doing the Father's will. Today's Gospel episode is a beautiful example of how Jesus recognized the Father's will in a given situation. Initially, he manifested a typical Jewish attitude towards foreigners. He ignored the woman and did not speak to her at first. He even made it clear that he was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But what made him change his mind? The humble persistence of the Canaanite woman made him see the absolute indication 
of the Father's will, telling him about the extensiveness of his saving mission. Then, and only then, did Jesus say, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And Jesus healed her daughter from that moment. Today's reading reminds us of those outside our closed circle of friends. We pray that the Lord will grant us the grace that we may be willing to open our hearts and minds to welcome them in the spirit of charity. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.